So now let's talk about multiplying multiple binomials or multiple polynomials. You would do this the same way. But if you have more than one, say you have three here, the way to do this is just do two at a time. So we'll take these first two and we'll ignore this third one just for a little while. So x plus two times x minus two. Again, I'm gonna take this x and I'm gonna multiply it by both of the terms in the second binomial. And then I'm gonna take this two and multiply it by both the terms in the second binomial. So to do that, I get x times x, which is x squared, and then x times a minus two, which is a minus two x, and then two times x is a positive two x, and positive two times a negative two would be a minus four. I combine my like terms again right here, and we're gonna get x squared minus four. Now that's the solution for the multiplication of just these first two. So now we've found that solution, we're going to carry down this third one and we're going to multiply it by that again. So once again I'm going to take this first term and multiply it by both of the terms in the second binomial. And then I'm going to take this second term and multiply it by both the terms in the second binomial. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 4 is a positive 4x squared minus four times x is a minus four x, and then minus four times a positive four is a negative 16. So this is our solution for x plus two times x minus two times x plus four. Let's try this again. Here we have three binomials again, and I'm just gonna take the first two to start with. So we have x minus three, times x plus 4. And again I'm going to take this first term and multiply it by both of these terms. And then I'm going to take this second term and multiply it by both of the terms in the second binomial. So x times x is x squared. Negative 3 times x is a minus 3x. x times 4 is a positive 4x. And then a minus 3 times 4 is minus 12. Now we got to combine these like terms here. So what we're going to get is an x squared and then a minus 3 plus a 4 is a positive 1x minus 12. Then I bring this last binomial down and we multiply our solution for the first two by that one. So x minus 2. And then I'm going to take every term here. This one goes and multiplied by both of these terms. Our second term gets multiplied by both of these terms. And then of course the third one also will get multiplied by both of these. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared by a minus 2 is a minus 2x squared. x times x is a positive 1x squared. x times a minus 2 is a minus 2x. Negative 12 times x is a negative 12x, and negative 12 times a minus 2 is a positive 24. So once again, we have to add our like terms. There's no like term with the x cubed, so that just stays x cubed. We have a minus 2x squared plus a 1x squared, so that's a minus 1x squared. We have a minus 2x and a minus 12x, so this is a minus 14x and then plus 24. Now when we multiply binomials, there's some special patterns that you'll see when you multiply certain binomials together. These are important later when we're dealing with polynomials when we try to go the other way and factor them. But let's not worry about that right now. First let's look at our first example. Here we have x minus y times x plus y. Well if you ever see two numbers in our binomials and they're the same two numbers and in the first one we're subtracting and the second one we're adding then it will always break down into the first number squared minus the second number squared. So x minus y times x plus y will always equal x squared minus y squared. 
But what if they're not different symbols? If we have an x plus y squared, and this is the same as x plus y times x plus y, then this will always break down into our first number squared plus two times both those numbers and then our second number squared. If we have x plus y cubed, then it's always our first term cubed and then plus three times our first number squared and then our second number and then three times our first number times our second number squared. Notice that these two are almost the same except our first number is squared and then in the second term our second number is squared. And then lastly we just have our second number cubed. So let's see if we can recognize this by doing some examples. Here we have a minus 2 and an a plus 2. We have the same number in both binomials, but one is subtracted and one is added. So by using the special property that we saw before, this answer is just a squared minus 2 squared. Well, 2 squared is 4, so then this is just a squared minus 4. Here we have b plus 2 squared. Well, this just comes out to be b squared plus 2 times b times 2. And then it's just our second number squared, so 2 squared. If we simplify this, we'll get b squared plus 4b plus 4. And here we have y minus 3 cubed which will just break down into y cubed plus 3 times our first number squared, so y squared, and then our second number, so a minus 3, and then plus 3 times our first number, y, times our second number squared, so minus 3 squared, and then our second number cubed, so a minus 3 cubed. Well, y cubed is y cubed. 3y squared times a minus 3 would be a minus 9y squared. 3 times y times a minus 3 squared. Minus 3 squared is 9. So 3 times 9 would be a positive 27y. And then a minus 3 cubed is a negative 27. And that completes our tutorial on basic operations with polynomials.